Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another Tech Tips Central video. This one is going to be a review of So Think Video Converter. This converter program will let you convert to several different types. And I'm just going to be covering a quick review. There will be a giveaway of this software very shortly. First off, I want to say thank you to So Think for giving me this software for free to review and to allow me to give away a copy to you guys. So that's very awesome, so thank you guys for doing that. This video converter is a standard video converter as you would expect. So let me just go ahead and add a file. So let me just go to computer, let's go to my T drive, aka my Detective Central drive. Let's go to my videos. Uh, let's just convert something real quick, that won't take too long. Get a YouTube video custom thumbnail. So let's just import that. And you have video dimensions. I want the original size, little box. You can do that. Video quality. I want the highest quality. Highest video audio quality. And there we go. Let's output to the desktop. I wanted to check that option. You can go ahead and play this video. So if I wanted to play this video, I could go ahead and scrub along here. The video, that's very nice that they have that. And what do I want to convert it to? So I can go ahead, I just want to convert it to, let's see here. You have generic audio video, HD video, AVI, H264, iPad, iPod, iPhone, da 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 da. Even Wii, and a lot of different options that you wouldn't even think about. No customized profile after modifying this thing, and your system safe as new profile. Interesting. Did not even know it had that. That's cool. So I can go ahead and do that so I just want to convert this uh, encoding settings I want to convert HD video AVI 264 there we go and hit convert so it will go ahead and convert my video I this will probably be pretty fast considering the fact that I have a core i7 2600 processor with eight cores and eight threads one of the very pros of having a quad core system with all that power as you can say, it's going to take about a minute for a five minute view. This is basically re rendering the video in a different format. And programs like Camtasia and Premiere Pro, videos that are five minutes long in 1080p, for me at least on this computer, typically take about a minute to render. So the fact that it's taking about 50 seconds is very good. It's what I would expect. Video converters typically aren't longer. I have seen some that take longer than rendering in a program. So I give them props for that and it's very quick and it's very simplistic like I said it's $25 for this pro version if you don't have the pro version it is free but you can't do HD video it's just kind of a bummer honestly if you're not dealing with HD video go ahead and get this software the free version if you want to convert HD video you might want to recommend a different program because of the price tag. However, this is a very good video converter. I have yet to see one that has done as well as this one. So if you want a very high, uh, a very good video converter with a ton of options, there are other options like Format Factory, but I specifically like this one a lot. For $25, the price tag isn't bad, but should it be free, who knows. This has been a quick review. I will have a review, I will give out a software key coming to one of you soon stick out keep watching the subscription boxes for a video covering when exactly I'm going to be giving it away and the details on that so thanks for watching this video I'll catch you guys later